Hello everybody and welcome back to Coral Island where we are in the fall right now and we're in a bit of a sticky situation. A little bit of a sticky. Ooh, Cho, Cho Oyo has found something interesting. This is fantastic news you don't want to miss. Well, we'll go and see what that's all about. Visit the Oracle. So we managed to make some more sprinklers yesterday. So we've only got a few things to water today. It's not as bad anymore. And what I'm hoping to do is, um, and I will be very much focusing on this. But I will today go and see my animals and just make sure that they're not sick or anything like that. I'm a nightmare with this watering can, I swear. If I, can, if I can possibly get it in the wrong direction, I do. Like, what was that? I didn't even water anything. Sprinklers for the win. I might not be able to go and visit the Oracle today. I may need to just spend the day trying to sort out these plots and getting the, the gold and silver kelp that I need to uh, to get the sprinklers in place. One more to do, and we're at 8.20 in the morning. Okay, this isn't as bad now. This is getting a lot better. Oh my goodness me. What an absolute nightmare. It shows how little time you have to do things like artisan products and things like that if you've got a massive farm and you don't have sprinklers, isn't it? Right, so the next thing I want to quickly check is when the Harvest Festival is and that is going to show me how much time I have to... Oh, it's the 15th. I have to have the fairy roses planted and fertilised and watered today. They need to be ready before the Harvest Festival, so they have to be done. Sad times, but never mind. And then I want to fertilise these ones. I'm only putting fertiliser one on them, but I'm hoping that that will give me at least one... With osmium seeds, fertilizer one, it should give me at least, hopefully, one. Osmium. Osmium fairy rose. So I'll give those a quick water, and then we're under the sea to see how much um, kelp I can get, how many, how many uh, sprinklers I can make, and then we'll try and get everything else planted as well. Like I say, I want to just quickly check on my animals. Everything else can just be left. There's nothing else I desperately need to do, but the animals do need checking on. The milling, that can be left. The, the bee houses, they can be left. That's not a problem. But what we don't want is starving animals. So let's see how they're looking. They're all in a bad mood. But they're kind of okay. Oh, because you got first place in the chicken contest. You've got a little badge. I think that gives me better eggs, maybe. So I'm just going to put them down some um, hay. I'm not even collecting the eggs. It's not happening. And they can come outside.
I'll give some hay to these guys as well, just in case I have to leave them in tomorrow or something. They'll all be in terrible moods as well. But no one's no one's sick. They're just in slightly bad moods. So we're okay. I am missing out though on on stuff. On wool and milk and stuff. So let's just sort that out. And then I need to head into the ocean. Wow. That was rough. No petting today either. That's not happening. No picking up maple syrup today. That's just not happening either. Right. So. Back under the sea quickly. To get more silver kelp. While I'm in the silver kelp layer. This is not silver kelp layer. This is way too clean. I do need to go in the gold kelp layer, but silver kelp layer is looking horrible. I'm going to head down and see what I can find. Every seven, six or seven, I think it is, kelp that I pick up is one less massive plot that I have to do. But if we want more to grow tomorrow, then I need to clean this place up because it's a nightmare. Some good, good, good. How much have I got? Thirteen. Okay. So I think about uh, with what we've got left at back at base, that's another two. Uh, it's only ten past two in the afternoon right now. should grow a lot better as I clean it up. I'll probably clean it up just as I don't need it anymore though. <laughs> okay. Still got a bit of room in the, the old inventory. That's brilliant. Uh, the amount of kelp I have now is 16. If I can get more, that's great. If not, that's kind of fine too. Where have I been? So I went round there. So I could still go kind of up round here. I think that might be bronze up there. Going off to the left as well might be worth it. some more. And some more there. This has been a recurring thing with me, there's never, just never enough silver kelp around. Oh, there's loads here. Yes. Kick in with that double kelp. That. That's enough. That's plenty. Yes. Let's go. I keep going this way. Okay, and so I'm going to need about a similar amount in the gold layer.
This is a cleaner layer generally, so I should be able to find more. Double count, so we've got five. I don't even want to know what the bronze kelp layer looks like. Yeah, it's quite a bit up here. Fourteen now. I don't want is my inventory filling too much. I should come down here and just do some scavenging at some point, but obviously that's on a day when <laughs> I'm not desperate to build sprinklers. 27. I think that should be enough. Yeah, no. So we need to go down here and back to the fast travel point. And then by the evening, I'm thinking we can have... Oh, let's get that one. By the evening, I'm hoping we can just have everything um, sprinkled. And then I can be back to normal, making money and being a farm boss. <laughs> But we're going to have such a good fall crop. It's going to be amazing. Right, so sprinklers. Beat. Crafting. Sprinkler two. Five of them. Yes. Please. That's everything I've got down. Now it has a sprinkler on it. Great stuff. Right, so how many, how many like one shot things do I have? So this is all the stuff that's going to regrow. Some of it can be grown one after another. That's one thing I always do is I plant everything at the beginning of the season and then I, I don't need it later. So garlic is definitely something that I want to get down like right now. If at all possible. Um, let's see. I've still got 21 silver. So I'm guessing gold kelp is my is my Achilles heel at the moment a little bit. I ideally don't want to be... So eight days, eight days, four days, eight days, nine days, nine days, six days, seven, uh, five days. Yeah, I will plant the garlic, but it will be the only thing I plant today. Just because everything's so difficult at the moment for me. And I just don't want to spend all my time watering crops. However, all that watering crops has probably been quite nice for my farming level. Gonna lie, that's probably not been not been bad. One thing I can do though is take up the No, I'm not gonna do that. You know why? When I take it away, I was thinking I could just uh, have a sprinkler on the inside so that I could just do the outside when I'm actually manually watering. But what if when I take it away, I, I miss? <laughs> you know that's not beyond the realms of possibility, right? Now, the garlic, I wanted to get that. I desperately need an osmium garlic. So that's something that I wanted to fertilize as well. And then anything that's left over, I can pop onto the, those amaranths seem to be spending like a million years of seeds so I may as well just fertilize some of those uh, artichokes actually not amaranths or are they I think those might be amaranth and those might be artichoke right so it's 10 o'clock 
I might have time to go back under the sea and get a tiny bit more gold kelp, but that might be something to do tomorrow. I've got white truffle there. My pig seems a bit happier now. I can grab some stuff out of here and try and make a bit of money today. Gosh, this is some... This is some times, isn't it? My dehydrator, let's put the bits I found under the seat in there. Which will allow me to take a few more things. The aging barrel is stuck again. Because <laughs> of course it is. So we'll grab that next time. All these coffees I can take as well. I'm supposed to be giving out coffees as presents at this point. I think the, mice, the mason jars might also possibly be slightly stuck. Uh, probably. Ah, uh, and that is as well. I think what it is, is where I've left things in there, like, overnight. They've then become stuck. And that gold essence as well. Yeah, so they've become stuck. So what we'll do is at the end of this episode, we'll do a... Or maybe quickly, as we change the day, I'll maybe do a quick reload just because... So annoying. Did I water the garlic? I have like absolutely no idea. My white truffle. Oh, it's midnight already. Oh my goodness me. I didn't water it. Oh no. Hang on. Let's see how fast I can do this. I really put my mind to it. Half an hour per field, if I really put my mind to it. So that's not so bad that I don't have the sprinkler for that field yet, but I would like to try and get on top of that in the morning. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to bed We're gonna not worry about anything too much. I'm gonna go out to the main menu because that will have saved now. And we're gonna do a quick reload. Now I believe this will reset all of the stuff that got stuck in my uh, shed while I was trying to get everything working with the fields. So yeah, hopefully Hopefully we'll be okay. So, yeah, starting the day all over again. Yay! Hello, Lindy. How are you doing? Love you very much. Okay. So let's head outside. Water the garlic. Let I'll quickly let the animals out. Then we'll go under the sea and get some more gold kelp. Ironically, silver seems to be okay at the moment. Looking good though. Look at all this. It's going to be so nice when it's done, huh? Oh, we don't have... Oh, I'm lucky that uh, no birds came because we don't have technically scarecrow coverage for these. Yeah, that should be fine. One per four. It seems absolutely fine at the moment. These, these seem so much better designed for this layout. It's so much nicer. That's all I need right now. Mm. Grab you. I'm just going to grab up all of these. I'm definitely going to go for the 24 wide fields on everything. So... 
may as well pull up all of those sprinklers. Honestly, probably may as well sell them. <laughs> At this point. Okay, let's go to my cell box and sell all of the things that were in the shed last night. I shouldn't have... Uh... That needed to be sold. And then we'll need to process some things as well. The normal cheese wheels can go through. Uh, I'm going to mostly just probably put age, age out the uh, goat's cheese wheels rather than anything else. I should get a wild seed as well. Plant those in the in the winter and get some tea from them maybe. No, compost is not here. Compost is in the shed. I've got some coffers for donations. Um, sell that sugar. I feel like I'm a bit more a bit more organised now. Okay, back to the shed I think. Did I let the animals out? Are they all out? Oh, well, let's hope I didn't because might be a bit of a problem, huh? I should go to like the tavern and everything and see if um, Karen is doing her <laughs> canvassing around there. All right, back to petting the, the pig. But only the pig and only the peacock. Who seems delighted that we're outside and has a couple of has a couple of hearts now so we're getting further towards that large peacock feather that will happen once uh the relationship is high enough i think okay uh let's sell the maple syrup and then i'm going straight under the sea again i know even with things in my inventory i i I don't really care as long as I get the gold kelp. I'm not there to get anything else. So let's go here. Find more gold kelp. Try and get sprinklers going. That's going to be very much the theme of last episode and this episode. But once it's done, it's going to be good. And the proper amounts of kelp are growing now because I've been keeping the seafloor quite clean. That's always handy. See, I think sometimes seaweed can even get in the way of it. You, I don't have you. Fuchsia flatworm. That was the thing that got away from me before, and I was like, I'm sure I don't have you. Yep, so this is good so far. We're making good progress. We have 18 kelp. Which will probably do two, maybe three more sprinklers for me. I need to not get too obsessed with cleaning under here though. I do need to. But I also need not to. Okay, I would say that at this point I can go back. And just make my sprinklers. Another future flatworm, but I'm not worried about that one. I've caught one now, so that's great. I don't know, have I? Handed that in before? No, thought not. I thought not. I wonder how many new creatures there's going to be now that I've never seen before because they've been, like, hiding in the trash before. And now they're not. But it's nice to come down here and just see it looking gorgeous. Right, so let's get the 
garlic. Oh, I've got so much stuff in my inventory. Okay, let's put those coffers away. That'll give me room for sprinklers. And once the sprinklers are in and everything is planted, then that's going to be fantastic times. Uh, so, sprinkler twos, one, two, three. Definitely got one there for the garlic. And we got one to go there. And one to go here. So I'm gonna need uh, probably I would probably want another three total. Um, so at this point, I think I want to go and put things in the dehydrator and and uh, milk and things in. Oh, I've got a peacock feather again. Just process the things that are clogging my inventory up, basically at this point. And the dehydrator will be a big thing with that. Um, yeah, I got my fermented goat cheese wheel. So yeah, that restart really did help. It was all very stuck, and it was it was my fault really for not coming in here and sorting things out daily. But it's because I was in a bit of a bind. So that's the deal with that. Let's make that white truffle oil. No, do not do that. Make white truffle oil. Oh, I need to grab that cloth and these. I just want to take the things off the machines so that uh, we don't have things getting stuck as much. Aging barrel should be doing something really, but never mind. It's my fault for not making goat cheese really. Osmi and goat cheese there. It's only small. Okay. Well, this is looking a little bit more civilized. <laughs> My inventory was looking in an absolute state before. It's now just looking a little tiny bit of a state. Oh, the large wool. That needs to be popped onto the loom. Get that out of the way. Phew. Okay. You look about to... I think that might be the apple tree. It might be apple blossoms or something. Either that or it's the durian and that's the apple. I can't remember which way around I've got them all. Okay, so... Seeing as we've got this one, let's plot it out and do some planting. I will have to water this one today, but that's fine. Because I think what I'm going to do is put some of the longer grows in at the moment and then I'll save some of the like ones that are four day ones till maybe later in the season. Unless I have the room for them. If I have the room for them, great. If I don't, then fine. But I've got one of everything from Sam's shop. So that's the main thing. Which means I'm doing 24 of everything. Keeping the cheese wheel, it needs to go to the goddess this time. So I will, I will grow orchids. I will grow rice. Bok choy and barley, really. But I don't want to put in too much at once because it gets overwhelming. Obviously, like next spring, these will all be ready to be planted into and we won't have such a terrible time of it. But it, you know, obviously, I didn't want to be planting in those little tiny sprinkler ones because it was just like, there's just no point in doing that. I want the farm to be kind of as it's going to be. Uh, eventually, we'll be on sprinkler threes, I think. Those, I think, might be the biggest. I probably need to be at farming 10 for that, I expect. Not 
quite sure actually. So I will sort that out. And then we're going to plant the orchids. I could just let them be uh, sprinkled in the morning if I'm feeling terribly lazy, but uh, I could also just water them. I mean, it's this sort of thing that you want maybe an osmium watering can for, but I'm not spending like thousands on gold and osmium upgrades when I've got sprinklers. And it's only this sort of once in a blue moon thing that happens. So we are watering in the dark. I'll go and grab that uh, that uh, peacock feather in a minute as well. Perfect. Well, isn't this starting to look very good? And it fits in so nicely into the area that I had prepared. I'm really, really happy with that, actually. Um, so that's all watered now. So grab the honey. That's still going, though. So I could mill something. Peacock feather. I got a double osmium peacock feather there. But it is a gorgeous little feather. It is not a gorgeous large feather yet. So we're still waiting on that one. I don't know if the last one that fell was an osmium quality. If it is, it'll tell us how much they go for. Nope. <laughs> We're not allowed to know. I'll sell the iris honey. I don't even know how much iris or orchid honey goes for either, apparently. Never sold those before either. Good to know. Right, let's go and give the cheese to the goddess. I'm getting there, okay? <laughs> It's been a rough, like, hour, hour and a half. But we're getting there now. Rare artisan. So now I, I need to be starting to play around with the barrel. To see how to make kimchi or wine. My guess on wine is to age up some juice. My guess on the kimchi is to age up a pickle. That's my guess. I don't know. <laughs> We will see. Let's go back to the farm and we, I can I can see what will go in that aging barrel. But yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty happy with all of this. Um, I'll go down again tomorrow and try and finish off the last three plots. And that should be that should be mostly enough for to sort of plant everything in a season. What you might have to do is double up some of the four day ones. Um, so say I've got three more plots. I do one eight day, another eight day, and then a four day and a five day together, and then beat seeds in whenever I can at the end. So we've got three plots. So we're two plots short, really, pretty much, of like the maximum amount. So what I might do is push this back one just to get another four in along the back there. And then I always know I've got enough. But at the same time, that will mean that we don't always have things planted in all of the plots. So if my aim is only to just grow 24 of everything a season. Which I don't see why I'd need more than that, to be honest. Especially with the regrowers. But I'll see how I feel. I was going to move the shed this season, wasn't I, before I did all of that stuff. But I think I, think I made my peace with where it is now. <laughs> I think we're just going to leave it where it is. 
I've got 11 gold kelp essence. I need more than that. One more at least, I think. Put away my seaweed. Uh, put away my one remaining piece of compost. Make sure I've got enough scarecrows covering everything, but I think I do. I don't think I need more than I've got. Unless I did add an extra row. But this is fine. I'm actually going to sell them. I can make more if I need more, but I'll sell them for now. These shiitake, shiitake mushrooms. I was going to see if they went in, if I could do mushrooms in the dehydrator, wasn't I? So let's go and see. That's the thing I can do. And let's see if I can put pickles. Oh, do I not have any pickles or any juices at the moment? No, I don't. All right, let's go and make some plum juice in one of the kegs. And let's make some, like, some kind of pickle. Let's make it some kind of, maybe a pickled cabbage actually would be a good one because I would think that kimchi would involve cabbage. So I'm going to make some pickled cabbage there specifically to test with. Uh, dehydrators are still working on things, are they? Yeah. Are they, are they, uh, I think they might have been a bit messed up too. Okay. No, the mushrooms can't go in. I think it's only sea stuff that can. All right, okay. Good to know that one then. So the mushrooms can only be used in cooking or sold uh, as themselves. And now for some reason I have plums in my inventory. Really? Come on. Flatworm can go in the donation chest. So, uh, oh, building mats chest. Then I need the milling chest over here. Put the salt into. I need to mill something. Let's mill a bit of salt into gold salt, and into gold gourmet salt. Rice, I have no idea whether I can mill. I haven't even tried it. If, if I can't, I need to move and get uh, pickled into vinegar. All right, I think that is now the end of the day. And we will have the farm finished in the morning. Gosh. Oh. Wow. Need me more of those guys. Their feathers go for 2,000 a piece. And sometimes they drop doubles. I can cope with that. Um, and all the pickled okra and the coffee and all that came to quite a reasonable amount with the farming side of it. And then other, we have maple syrup and my scarecrows. Nice. 11,000 in a day. We're starting to get some really nice uh, payback from the things we've been investing into, which is just lovely to see. I'm just gonna put that auto sprinkler attachment away. I'm not ready to use it really at the moment. I'm not using it to its full advantage at all. So I think it's time to get back down under the ocean again. Um, I've got mail to read quickly. So the Harvest Festival is coming up at 4.15th at 7pm in Allen Allen Square. Legendary farmer Jess Smith will be the judge for the Harvester's Bay Contest. To enter, bring your best products from each of the following six categories. Coop, barn, artisan, flower, fruit, vegetables. So I'm going to try my best. I'm already trying my best to have a an Osmium Fairy flower in for that. I'm going to double up on some of the artisan coupon balm stuff so to make up for the fact that the fruit and vegetables are subpar. So that is what we are going to do with that. So we already know what we're doing with that. And I should already have a little thing there. So we need to get like another large 
osmium goat milk or something like that. Something nice. Another nice quail egg or another nice artisan thing. Ideally, it would be another balm product so I can have two... Well, ideally, it would be an osmium fairy flower, but if not, then it would be ideally a second balm product. And maybe an osmium um, peacock feather or something like that, because they are very expensive. I'd rather sell it myself, honestly. So we'll say hello to the animals. I'll see what eggs they have. Obviously, there's nothing to harvest yet. Eggs are just crazy. There's so many of them. Okay, said hello to Phoenix. So is everybody happy now? Yeah, everyone's back to being happy. So that's great. Um, we're just trying to pet Phoenix up to a point where... Where they feel that they can drop large feathers instead of small ones. Yeah, I dread to think how much milk and things I missed out on while I was trying to get that farm up and running, but can't be helped. Okay, so quickly into the shed, we'll get all of the processing done of everything that we can. what I can as well. A lot of mayonnaise hasn't been made because of various things going on so I'm not gonna worry about the golden eggs today we're gonna do the actually no I will do I'll do golden eggs and then the rest of the eggs can go in here in the coffee chest which is where they generally live when I can't do things with them the wools. Oh, hang on. I want to keep that one large goat milk. Because that one large goat milk is a second um, 25 point barn product for the Harvest Festival. Let's see would be ideal so if we've got any can we pick up any of this juice yet or any of these pickles a pickled red cabbage we can pick up lovely so i want to know can we age it we can make red cabbage kimchi yes so that's what I, that's what i thought that a pickle aged is kimchi and that our juice aged is wine so we'll keep these juices ready for that um do I have time to put on some coffee? I probably do. And the rest of the kegs. Let's put that plum back somewhere as well. Okay then let's make some pickles of something and my thoughts are some bell peppers So everything's full. I do need to increase the number of kegs and mason jars and things like that I have. We did a little bit of that and then everything got a bit crazy. And we, we finished under the sea and we did all this and we did all that and it was all kind of crazy. I need to visit the Oracle still. I wanted to do that this episode specifically. I think that would be cool, whatever she's got to say. might have some better way of me swimming or something like that you never know so i'll sell some truffle oil this time and we're going to keep the goat milk specifically in here ready for the harvest festival so if, if i put those in i've still got a pretty decent score if i can put one less 
barn or cooper artisan thing and put a, a flower in then i get an extra six points of diversity for that so that's kind of how that all works basically it has to be above 400 ultimate quality and then you get the best score for um quality you get the best score for price for doing that and then if you can get one of every category that's how you then get the remaining points so now you know i'm gonna just now finish off the um planning of the farm so we'll be able to put a few more bits and bobs in here I don't think it should ever be this much work ever again unless, as I say, I change. I plan to change everything to sprinkler threes. Which I don't know. I don't know whether that's strictly necessary. That wasn't too bad. I managed to make the previous plots into this one fairly well there's no big rush on anything else I don't think it was mainly I wanted to have the fairy flowers and the garlic planted I would have both of them fertilized nicely and then have everything planted that was you know obviously going to be the gift that keeps on giving sort of thing but anything else it's not the end of the world if it doesn't get planted as long as it gets planted by the 19th What am, I, what am I even doing here? What am I doing that for? That's stupid. Right, so as far as it, uh, making more sprinklers is concerned, we want to make another three. So I'm going to need about 21 silver kelp and 21 gold kelp. Okay. I think we can do that. So this will be the last time we have to do this, hopefully. Unless I need something else. No question. Where's all the silver kelp then? And being a bit more relaxed down here now because I, I don't need to worry about quite so much stuff right now. And some of the cleaning I did is starting to pay off. And look, there's more kelp appearing. This is an area that I have mostly cleaned already, I think, <laughs> several times. But you just got to do a little bit of maintenance on it every time you come down, really. And it's nice, because look, I just got a coffer and a fossil node. And we're going to need things like that for the museum eventually. I found a ton of kelp, though. I was thinking I might find a bit more than that. Oh, here's some. We're going to, need to clear the seaweed more. Right, how much of that one have I got now? Fourteen. So we still we still want to keep going for a bit. I need twenty one. And then I think I'm going to need a little bit more gold kelp than that. I think I need another five or ten. Oh, well, that'll do. This is a brilliant area, actually. Don't want to catch you. 
and catch you. Come and catch you. Yeah. I don't understand what's being said. I always check them. I'm sure there's probably somewhere I've forgotten to pick up their stuff. But yeah, I probably will start to make it kind of a matter of of routine just to come down here and do a little bit of cleaning every so often. You know. Right, we're at half past five now, so I probably do need to like move back towards oh we're basically we've gone around in a circle. Fantastic. Um I need to move around to the gold layer now and try and get a good twenty thirty of that. And then I can start doing things like looking in the mines. I, I want to go and look for more geodes in the mines, so... You're a different dude. Oh, one of these guys! This is a sexy shrimp! They're super exciting, aren't they? I always come from the silver layer and I expect the uh, the gold layer stuff just to go on the... <laughs> just to come up on the first swipe, but it doesn't. Takes a second swipe. That was a good bit of double kelping there. Please don't tell me that's some slang that I don't know about. <laughs> That'd be very typical, wouldn't it? She laughed. That's the most terrible thing you could have ever said. Inventory is full. How much gold kelp did I manage to get? Twenty-three. I'd like to get more if possible, so I'm just going to see what we've got up here. It looks like there is a bit. We've got so much stuff. Mucho stuffos. Yeah, I'll just grab all of the gold kelp down here and then we'll head back. I imagine now I can just use the anchor to go wherever I want. I imagine as well we've now got... Um, probably some fast travel. I need to go back to the cave there, really. Is there any fast travel in, in there, in a cave? Maybe up there. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull the anchor. I don't need to save a spot in the osmium layer anymore. I've just run around as I wish. Everything's all gone now, all the routes, all the ways, all the blocked ways are unlocked. I need to come down the beach um, and try and get all the shells. Because I think I might be missing one. One particular beach shell that's just not not there. So, Okay, that's all of that. There's a fossil there. And... All of the sea creatures can be sold. And then I can dehydrate the rest. Sometimes it like plays the sprinkler sound when the sprinklers aren't actually doing anything. I don't know, but I think it might be. Okay, so my kimchi is going to take a little while to do, and once that's done, we'll work on the juice to get the wine, and that'll be another part of the. Wow, <laughs> we got loads of stuff. There. 
And that'll be another part of the goddess's uh, requirements sorted. And that'll be quite nice, won't it? I'm not sure that kimchi is probably the best thing. Let's get all the money tonight, shall we? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how much that's going to sell for and stuff. I'm going to have to play around with things or look things up. Yeah, so let's sell all these bits and pieces. Normal cheese wheels. That plum juice we're keeping, aren't we? Or are we? No, let's sell it because I think there's more juice being made still. So we can just keep that instead. Four large mayonnaises. Gonna put anything back there. No, most of, actually the wild seeds that I've got need to go in there. We're saving those up. We'll plant them in winter. It might only it'll probably only be like one. <laughs> Although no, we have island level C, which means we have winter seeds this year. I think we'll have winter ones. So I will have crops in the winter now. Because you know, I don't have enough work to do. Those away. Let's put the kelp there. Wonderful. Let me make some more sprinklers. I think that should be enough. Okay, so now we've sort of gotten on top of that a little bit. Um, so what I will do is in the morning, I'll wait until the soil's all nice and... Well, actually, no, I don't need to wait, do I? I can just do that right now. I can just plant things. So let's plant some barley. I think the four and the five day ones can go together. Let's do barley and bok choy. And then do like uh, blue dahlia. And then the basil and the beet can just go in after them. This is going to look so good. Worked hard on these fields. They're going to be fun to... Oh, my inventory is going to cry though, isn't it? It'll be, I'll get a day where everything is ripe at the same time and my inventory will go. <laughs> Look! Apples! We have apples! Oh, it's midnight already. Wow, okay. Um, we're only just on the hour, so I'll do another day. And we're going to hand in the apples. And I need to try and work out how to make apple pie. What on earth did I sell? It makes how much? I gave that to the goddess. <laughs> 4,000 just on one white truffle. That's insane. Thanks, pig. <laughs> Can I make the oil makers? Like, I think I, maybe that's a thing with farming X, Y, and Z, but let me have a look and make sure I can't make another oil maker. Well, I'm going to eventually want some more animals, more pigs, more more things that give me really expensive stuff. No. Is there anything here that looks like it could be the oil maker eventually? A couple of things it could be. 
Definitely some more scarecrows to unlock and things like that. Okay. Well, I look forward to it. <laughs> right then. I'll say hello to Lindy this morning. Lindy looks very happy today, apparently. And one thing I want to do now is to... Oh no, we've got harvests already. So these guys are going to grow slower. But yeah, we've already got a harvest of the uh, of the taro root. Pickled taro root for everyone today. <laughs> and that's, we've got quite a few osmium of those and we don't even have fertilizer on that. So that just shows you like the likelihood of us getting osmium crops with uh if we do have fertilizer and things that that kimchi is taking forever and ever my goodness how's my farming level now i need to know oh it's well close to getting a farming level nice 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 i might even have it from doing because it doesn't give you your exp points until like after so it might even do that just from the tarot i've picked up oh right so that's another one that i can't do much with okay i can make apple jam out of my apples but i don't want to do that i want to try and make apple pie let me just check that i can't mill that A lot of the potatoes and things just don't... It's just the, the root vegetables. Yeah, so taro, potato, sweet potato. All don't seem to really do a lot. So what I do is put them in the fridge. And see what I can do. So they're going in the fridge with the rest of it. never know about salt and gourmet salt and things so I'm kind of guessing that like for apple pie I need some kind of flour maybe some milk and then an apple or do I know how to make it already let's see I've got a few things a few recipes people give me I'm guessing it would be an oven thing so let's see um so okay a fruit tart specifically needs sugar wheat flour any fruit any fruit okay so it might take two apples um jackfruit potato mushroom and milk for a jackfruit okay butter and flour sugar and flour any flour for bread I could probably work it out. If I get enough apples over the fall, I could maybe work that out. I'm almost certain it'll be an oven thing. I'm almost certain it'll be wheat flour and sugar because it'll be a, like a, it'll probably be a tart cake case. Cake is going to be egg and flour. Okay, well, let me go and give one of the apples to the goddess because I know she wants an apple. I don't know what uh, specific quality she wants. I think it's silver. And then we can use the other apples for experimenting with how to make apple pie. Did I ever give in a black truffle? I need to check that as well. I have a feeling I did. Oh no, it's this one, isn't it? So, silver apple is done. So we're just now waiting on, I think the lemon tree, to be honest, will probably be the first one to fruit out of all of these. 
So we're going to wait on the lemon tree and see how that does. I only planted that a tiny bit ago. I think it takes 10 days and then a few days to get a fruit off it. So it'll probably be around the middle of the season. <gasps> no! Oh no, you know what? With all of that problem I had... Ocean forest. Oh no. No, 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 no. Please come out. You know what I've forgotten, don't you? First of the seventh of fall. That fish. And it says it comes out in the morning. I'm hoping this all counts as ocean. I think it does here. From all the maps I've seen, it does. Mackerels. Oh, why is it always just loads and loads and loads and loads of mackerels? So annoying. A harpless beetle? Well, that's a new one. Or it might not be. This is closer to the ocean. Firefish. Trash. Why are we still getting trash? We cleaned this ocean up. But I think this is the only way, only place that you can get to like the ocean in the forest. Sea cucumber. It says morning and night, so I might need to come back in the night. You're a nutter, aren't you? Oh. oh, I can't believe that. I nearly had him. Oh, no. Oh, no. That might have been my only chance for the entire year. I'm really sad about that. I could have done it. <sighs> Shoot. More patience. Just a tiny bit more patience. That would have been done. I know it was him. I know it was him. 
I'm just going to stay here and fish all day. I might get another chance. shaking like a leaf from that can't believe it broke at the last second I still have another day I still have the seventh But I need to fish these two days. Even if my animals are utterly neglected, whatever, I don't care right now. The main thing is that I catch this thing. Because I can't play till fall of year three just to get the catch altar done. No way. Mandarins are coming out. That's showing that it's um, starting to think it's night time when a mandarin comes out. There's a chance I'll get another shot at this because it's a, a, apparently it's a morning and night fish. This one isn't hard enough. Not cool. If I catch this, I will go silent. Come on. That looks too small, I think. I have lots of fish to sell today. <laughs> Hurrah. I wish puffer fish would go away and stop throwing their flyers in my sea. <laughs> I may not get another go on this guy. I got really lucky with the sturgeon. That's a mackerel, I think. 
I like to play the guessing game <laughs> of like what I think the fish is before I get it. again yeah mm, don't think I'm getting him today tomorrow will be a dereliction of duties while I try and catch this thing starts off like mackerels always start off feeling as if they're gonna like be really difficult to catch and then they get easy um whereas if it continues to be really difficult then i would know that it was probably a giant sea bass that I forgot to do this and like I'm sad that everything's been so disorganized this first week of, of fall you know all right I'm going home mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sad if I don't catch it tomorrow I don't catch it at all, basically. Well, I think, unfortunately, that is the end of the episode. So you're going to have to wait till next time to find out if I catch that fish. Because, uh, wow. That's so annoying. <laughs> but never mind. I, I, I thought I nearly had him. I so thought I nearly had him and I just didn't. But um, at least I did remember. We'll try our best. We'll see. If not, then we may be doing another year. Yay! Everything else will be like done, but not that catch altar. Oh no. Can't do the catch altar. Hate that catch altar so much. I really hate it. But yes, anyway, that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, we are at a point now where the, the farm is a lot better, easier to manage. Uh, we've got the sprinklers all down. We've got the whole thing looking quite nice. Uh, we've got apples. We're going to have lemons soon, so we'll have the that altar completely done, which will be really, really nice. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. Hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.